Good day! Are you able to find the missing number in this rather difficult maths puzzle? The numbers in the puzzle are as follows. In the first row, we have 6, 8, 10. In the second row, we have 3, 5 and 8. And in the third row, we have 1, 2 and 5. In the final row, we have 12, 24 and a question mark. And as usual, we need to find what numbers represent the question mark. If you want to have a go at this puzzle, press the pause button now. But if you want to know the solution, keep watching. Welcome back to this rather difficult math puzzle. The numbers in the puzzle are 6, 8, 10 in the first row, 3, 5, 8 in the second row, 1, 2, 5 in the third row, and 12, 24 and a question mark. It looks difficult at first sight, but if you are good in solving problems, puzzle, this should be no problem to you. The reason why it's difficult because you can work either on rows or column because the biggest number are all up here at the right hand side, 10, 8, 5 is the biggest number and also at the bottom, 12, 24 and a question mark, they are also the bigger. So in other words, you can work either on a row or column, but without further ado, let's give you the solution. In fact, this is work on the terms of column. So we need to manipulate 6, 3, 1 to get 12. 8, 5, 2 to get 24, and 10, 8, 5 to get the question mark. To do that, it's quite straightforward. So what we do, we take 3 minus 1, that gives us 2. 2 multiplied by 6 will give us 12. So that is how you calculate the first point. The second point, the same thing. 5 minus 2 is going to be 3. 3 multiplied by 8 will give you 24. And of course, in our last column, we're going to do the same thing. 8 minus 5 will again be 3. 3 multiplied by 10 will give you 30. So the question mark is equal to 30. And I'm sure some of you will get it right because you guys are geniuses. And I'll see you in the next puzzle. Have a good day everyone and see you soon.